What's going on, everybody? Another uh, beta box here, and uh, just just looking to see what we can pull. Uh, you know, I, I have a good feeling about this box. Um, by the time this posts, I'm not sure what's going on with uh, box prices, but right now they're they're really they're really ticking up. Certain singles are ticking down, which has been really interesting to me, and certain singles prices have been really going crazy. I mean. You know, certain foils. Whew. Boy, it's some of them. Oh, nice way to start off. Little ruins. Oh, we're going to start off really nice here. Boom. That's beautiful. Great way to start this video off. This is one of those singles that, you know, I was saying it's moving. Oh, and we got a foil in here already. What the heck? Let's see where we'll do this. Cave Trolls. Scarecrow. The Reign of the Arrows, and a Voyage. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, by now I'm sure you guys have seen all my Curio videos, and um, everything going on with those, which has been excellent. I mean, I was, I, I didn't, I went through a Curio dry spell for like 60 boxes, and then now they're starting to, to show up. That's, I guess that's kind of how it happens. Um, Puppet Master. Berry, okay. Little berry, berryage, berryage. I'm starting to, as you can, guys can see, slowly list more and more nice death speaker product out there on TCG Marketplace. You know, um, trying to get get some singles out. At first, I was like, I'm not holding enough stuff. Cause like once Arthurian legends come, certain things are gonna spike, you know. People are just gonna want to get beta stuff, and I'm not holding enough. So because of that, I um I, I halted all sales until I got into a position that I felt I felt good about. Nomads. And I have several play sets now. Um I got like six ladies promos. So I'm, I'm kind of set. I'm also, you know, willing to do some deals with folks and, uh, you know, if you have something you want to sell, reach out to me. Um, I do pay pretty good prices. I won't pay top end of the market, but if it's something that I don't have, for example, particular curio, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay good. I'm just not going to pay like, but I'm not going to pay top dollar either. I'll, I can wait it out. I've got the time to wait. Wait for the right deal to walk. Come on, walking by. Well, we know there's an avatar in this one. Bedrock. The shower. Okay. Anchorman drown. A curio in the second to last spot just like really messed with me. I didn't think curios could be that far back. I guess anything's possible. I guess there's no. No guarantee of where curios are gonna show up. Right? That's the part of the curio, it's like a surprise. You know you know the folks at Eric's Curios are like surprises too. We we find find that out. Spin attack, Petrosian. Shrinkage. Sphere, a little planar gate. Nothing again, nothing's happening with that planar gate yet. What do we got here? Is this a silence? Oh, polar bears. Polar bears are moving. Um, you know, I think they're gonna be very interesting in Arthurian legends with the round table and such being placed in the back row. So having the bears and stuff that can connect the top and bottom you know, areas of the realm is uh probably gonna be an interesting type of a deck in the future based on what we know. So I expect the polar bears um, to do well. Nimbus Jin. Lots of good gray wolves in here. Boil. Lots of gray wolvies. Hydra.
Cone of Flame. Gigantism. Okay, that's our second unique. Bone Rabble. Bone Rabble. Ghost Ship. Huh? Surveyor. Backstab. Oh, and there's the omen. A little poltergeist. Disenchant. Polar bears. Explosions. <laughs> the sphere. A little replication. Replication is like one of the harder, harder elites to pull. Okay, little sinkhole. Sinkhole is a valuable card. You play that with roots. I play that with pretty much a lot of different things. It's just a good, good playable card. Destroy one of those, uh, one of those sites. Land deed. I haven't pulled a land deed in a while either. And surveyor wizard. Okay, we got some temp. Temps. Little Donnybrook. Man, Donnybrook. Rare pull for me. It's the mat we're, we're on here, is if it looks familiar. It's a unique. And, uh. Hard for me to pull. I actually bought some lately on the open market because I didn't have enough. I, I just didn't pull enough Donnybrooks. Queen of Midland coming in for unique number four. Grapple shot. Unravel sleep. Man, what I wouldn't give to watch how these cards are being made. Wouldn't that be kind of wild to see? How are they being packed? How does the foiling work? Like, how do they how do they pack that in? What is how does a sheet of foiling look? I mean, I know you can't you can't share any of that information. I totally understand, but like, wouldn't that be amazing? Ruins. Second chains of the box. Oh, we got a nice foil coming in, and I don't know what it is. Giant shark. Man, looks so good. Looks great. I'm trying to eat that mermaid. We got four foils, and it looks like it could be a foil exceptional box. So if you guys don't know what that means, that means that like pretty much you just get straight exceptional foils. Gnomes, and we got the Illusionist. Oh, Bottomless Pit Foil. Okay. It's a great one. actually need this. That's awesome. Because I want to run that in my, in my deck. So I'm trying to go full foil on all my decks. Bridge Troll. Geistwood. Okay. And Geistwood's a great one. Great one to have. Muck Lampreys. Okay. Muck Lampreys. This card always looks different every time I look at it, to be honest. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. Um, okay, three more foils to go. Probably two or three more uniques to go. So far, this box has been a little bit on the, on the average side of things. We got dupes of the Adept Illusionists. Rolls, teleport, explosion. The gnomes. Rift. Rift Valley. Mixingus. What do we got? What do we oh, boom! I need this. That's an awesome pull. Actually, really needed this. Um, Aquamarine Core. 
for me this is like out of 85 or 86 boxes that i've opened this might be the third one that i've ever pulled so for me aquamarine cores are really hard to pull lots of value there right lots and lots of value those are some of the singles i mentioned at the beginning that are just like you know going nuts because p you need those everyone needs those cards full vaults of zol Vault's coming in. That would be our seventh unique. So there's a chance we could have one more. Um, some boxes have seven. Some boxes have eight. Um, but we have three more foils to go. Oops. The Froggies. Angler. Mad Dash. I'd love to pull that Guile Sirens foil. Um, Curio. Elementalist. Okay. The Houndies. The Buffs. Aqua Core. Boom. Oh, is this a... Abundance. It is. Abundance. Love Abundance. Oh, I see something. Quarrelsome Kobolds. Don't pull those guys too often. The foiling looks interesting on that. Huh. Okay. Two more foils to go. We have four packs to go. Little silence. Okay. Good old silence. We got a foil coming in. Looks like a flame. All right, nice avatar pull. That is awesome. Rimlin Nomads. So obviously anytime you pull an avatar foil, you say thank you. Because once again, that's uh, that's something you want to hold on to. Um, you know, I see, I see those doing really well in the future. One more foil. Three packs. We did all right in this box. Aqua Core, the foil, um, foil flame collar definitely helped things. Ice Lance and a Dapper Vampire. Looks great. Look at her. Jeez. So we only had one elite foil in this box. Three, six, nine. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, folks. We're going to check out and see. Maybe we maybe we have a curio here at the end. You never know. One last pack. Again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out if you just want to get into some... Oh, yeah, that's our, that's our eighth uh, unique. So that's awesome. And, uh, yeah. Hit me up if you need some singles. I'll be, do I'll be putting some... Uh, Arthurian Legends things together for folks. I have a ton of boxes coming. Um, you need to be a patron to to benefit from that, though. Uh, so for any any patrons that I that I have in, I'll um, put singles on hold for you. I will make play sets and such. So get in while you can, while there's some spots. I'm, I've just kind of kicked it off, so there's tons of spots. Um, yeah, talk to y'all later.